Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To. And do you use Google on your mobile or desktop device? Well, if so, keep watching this. Okay, so in Google Chrome version 73, it now has the ability to allow managers or administrators to administer group policies to affect the way that Google Chrome behaves and can be used. Now, if you're in a office type environment or you are actually a remote desktop worker, then this can be really handy. But if you're a home user and just a casual internet browser and you find that your Google Chrome is being administered by somebody else, that can be quite worrying. So how do you know if it's being administered by someone else and what can you do to fix it? So if you've got any inclination at all that your PC may be infected with malware, this is one of the easiest ways to find out if it is or not. So if you go over to your desktop, go into Chrome, open it up and click on the three dots in the top right hand corner. And if you go down through the list, you may well find that it says towards the bottom that these settings are administered by an organization or worse to that effect. So I'm gonna go ahead now and show you where you're gonna likely to see it. So this is the standard Chrome desktop. And if you click on the three dots, and this is where you may well see that message. Alternately, it may actually be in the settings section. So if you click on settings, you may well get a notification here that these settings are administered by a organization or again, worse to that effect. Now, I haven't actually got it on mine, so I'm, uh, I'm okay, but this is a new thing which has been found out very recently and is affecting quite a lot of home users. So let's say, for example, you've just done this now, you've clicked on the three dots and you have found that your browser is being administered remotely. What can you do to fix it? Well, there's various things you can do, some of which involve delving into the registry. So if you're comfortable with that, stick around. We'll be going into that a little bit later. But alternately, you can actually do it from within Google Chrome itself if it will allow you after the policies have been set. So all you need to do is again, click on the three dots on the side and go into settings, which I've already got open here, but I'll show you again. So click on settings and this brings up your Google Chrome settings. So from this, all you need to do is scroll all the way to the bottom and you've got the advanced tab at the bottom or again, scroll right to the very bottom. And at the bottom, you've got two options in the reset in cleanup dialog box. So you've got an option for restore settings to their original defaults, and you've got the option for clean up computer. Now clean up computer, if you've got this uh, policy on your system and you don't know how it's got there, this is a good way of uh, sorting that out. So click on clean up computer, and this will take you into the next message. So you've got the option to find harmful software, malware, all those kinds of things which can cause problems on your PC. So Chrome can find harmful software on your computer and remove it. Uh, this will also report details. You don't have to do that. You can untick that box. Uh, some, in some cases, it may actually be helpful to let Google know what's going on if there is anything found. So they can obviously then add that to the list of the database so that other people can be helped by it. But anyway, so if you click on find, that'll go through and start doing a scan on your system in its entirety to see if there is any malware on your system. Alternatively, what you can do is you can use the other option, which is to restore settings to their original defaults. So if you click on that, it gives you the warning message. This will reset your startup page, your new tab page, your search engine, and all of your pinned tabs. It will also disable all extensions and clear temporary data like cookies. Your bookmarks, your history, and your safe passwords will not be cleared. Okay, so it's not gonna get rid of everything. Things that are important to you, like your bookmarks, your history, and safe passwords, all that kind of stuff it will actually keep those in place. So that's not gonna be a problem, but it will reset everything else like startup page, all that kind of stuff. So if you've had maybe a browser hijack and your home page has now been diverted to something else, this is definitely a good thing to run just to get things back to normal. Okay, so that's one way of doing it actually from within the browser itself. Alternately, what you can do is go into the registry and find the policy and actually delete it. So let's go into the registry now and find out how to do it. So if you go to the bottom and type in regedit, which is the registry editor, and in the registry, what we need to do is to find the policies. Now the policy may have been attached to the machine itself, or it may have been attached purely for your user profile. So you can search for this in both sections. 
So if we do the first one, which is H key current user, and then go down to software, and then go into policies. So at the moment, there's only Microsoft and my power profile policies, which are actually on this particular unit. If there was any additional policies which have been created by Chrome, there would be another subheading in there or subfolder called Google, and then you could go into that and then check the policies. So if you do find anything in there under that heading, you can just go into the policy, see what it refers to, and if it's nothing you are aware of or something you're unsure of, you can delete it. Obviously, this is the system registry. If you do delete anything in here, it can always cause problems. So it's always a good idea to do a backup of your registry before you do any tampering in this section. So again, we've looked in the uh, H key current user. We can also check in the local machine as well. It's exactly the same place, so H key current machine, and then go into software, and then go down to policies. And again, we're looking for a folder uh, that relates to either Chrome or Google. As I said before, I haven't actually been infected on my machine or have the malware on my machine, so I don't have the folder there. But if you do have the folder there, go into the policies and see what they refer to. Generally, again, it's quite likely that you can just delete those uh, registry keys and everything will be fine. But always worth after you've done anything like this, well, first of all, do a backup of your registry. But after you've done this, run your malware software just in case, because there may well be something still in there. And potentially, if you've already got malware software or antivirus software on your PC, it's possibly a time to consider upgrading it or changing it if it's let this through the, uh, the back door of your system. So anyway, I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To. This has been the how to remove policies from your Google Chrome if it becomes infected with malware. And we'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching.